We're going to get back to the markets and link in these new developments in Afghanistan. Bob Dahl is with us. You know, Bob, we've had this report of the explosion right outside the airport there in Kabul. This happened, we got the report uh, maybe 20, 30 minutes ago when the market was open. No impact on the market. Can you explain that? Well, I think, Stuart, the market's saying um, we, we knew that this was going to be messy. Uh, the market's also saying we don't have any details about are there casualties. The Afghanistan uh, uh, economy, as you know, is so small, it really doesn't matter. So I think the market is taking a pass uh, in the short term. Needless to say, as you've been covering, it raises questions about our uh, uh, position around the world, both with our friends and our enemies. They uh, all get worse, and that's never good for markets. So this is a negative, but in the short term, I think the market's uh, just yawning and trying to focus on other things. A lot of our analysts, the people who appear on this program talking about the markets, have been talking about inflation. And inflation is absolutely clear. It is there. We all feel it. We all see it. I'm looking at a bank rate survey, or it was a survey from bank rate. Ninety percent of the people they polled said, yeah, yeah, we've experienced inflation and we don't like it. Do you think this will result in consumers pulling back on their spending because they don't want to pay these higher prices? I think consumers uh, have a lot of cash and so they're going to legitimately complain and observe about higher prices, but I think they'll continue to spend money, Stuart, because they have the money. And in some sense, if they expect prices to go higher, they may buy sooner yeah. before the price is higher for that particular item. That's what you do in an inflationary environment. You, you, you buy now because you know the price is going up next week or next month. That's what you do. All right, exactly. But you, you still think the overall direction of the market is gradually inching higher through the summer and into the fall, right? Exactly. Uh, the, the, the Tina, there is no alternative argument. The amount of cash on the sidelines, the effect that the economy and earnings, while slowing, is still a very strong rate. These are the positives, Stuart, that uh, keep uh, the fuel under the fire for the, the market to go higher. Uh, but the easy money this year, I would go on to say out of the other side of my mouth, has been made. It's going to be bumpier. It's going to be choppier. We're going to have setbacks. I'm still thinking about getting out and taking my profit and sleeping easy at night, but I've not done it yet. When I do it, I'll tell everybody. <laughs> Hang in. All right. Hey, Bob Dahl, you're all right. Thanks for joining us, sir. We'll see you soon. Thank you, sir. You got it.